Shabbat Shalom, y'all. Happy Friday. Hope y'all are doing well. How is everyone? I'm good. I just got in from work. Uh, it was a really busy night at the restaurant. It's kind of been like getting busier and busier and busier all week. We're like a definitely a big fall restaurant, very indulgent food. So people like to eat a lot, like when it starts getting cool. So all of a sudden it's like, it's been really busy. But, um, <laughs> I have a funny story. I was going to maybe not tell this about myself because it's gross, but I think that it's a really funny story, so I'm going to. So at my busiest point in the night, um, I had like, <clears throat> I was in a five table section and I had like two five tops going and like a bunch of two tops and I had a couple of tables just sit down and then I had another couple of tables where I needed to go get their next round of silverware ready for their dinner to arrive and then I had another couple of tables where like I needed to go get them like as another round of drinks and like bring all this stuff in and so I was like having to run around you know a bunch of different places meanwhile every time I go past the pass they're calling for hands which means like we have to run food immediately so it goes out hot well, during like this really busy culmination point, I get like this um, like sharp uh, pain in my stomach that I can only describe as clear and present danger. I was like, oh, oh, thunderbolts in my gut. This is not going to be good. And I'm running around trying to like think like, oh my God, I need to go get to a bathroom. And I don't want to go to the main bathroom because I just have a feeling that I'm about to have diarrhea. And I do not want to be in the bathroom with diarrhea and then come out and everybody be like, oh, there's the waitress. You know, I'm like, no, I can't. I like, I'm not that person. I can't do this in public. <laughs> and so I'm like, where is there a bathroom in this building that I could go to be by myself? So there's this like one like backstage green room bathroom, but it's like where all the kitchen people go. So it's like the grossest one. So I have to like, everybody's needing me and they need stuff. And I'm like, got everybody taken care of. I'm like trying to get like an order of like beers and stuff rung, rung into the computer and I can feel it's, it's about to happen. I'm like, if anybody gets in my way on the way back to the bathroom, I will be shitting the floor. It will be a huge upset everywhere. <laughs> will throw up. It'll be a nightmare. I will have to walk to the restaurant with shit pants. And um, but I I'm I'm proud and and happy and excited to report that I did not shit my pants. But it was the closest I've ever been. Uh, so yay! Didn't shit myself. Not to be a braggart, but <laughs> didn't shit myself at work tonight. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Now that that's, that's out there in the open, the whole world to know. Um, we got some cards to talk about, y'all. So our weekend reading, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it, actually. So we got Page of Wands followed by The Lovers. And these two cards combined together, I feel like in this moment, so we just had our big new moon in Libra, and there was like a ton of cardinal energy in that new moon. I can't remember. There was like a lot of Aries influence over it, which Aries is a cardinal sign and then Libra is a cardinal sign. So not only that, it's like the um, an energetic new year. Um, and so there's so much new beginning energy, not to mention that we are coming to a crossroads and a big decision point and a big decisive moment in our life. You know, that's what the leather lovers card is also talking about. It's talking about, you know, those big decisive moments in life, those big decisions that we have to make, those big fork in the road times where we really have to weigh out like, you know, our values and like what we, you know, it, these are like usually heavy decisions to make. So it's important that we choose from the heart. We choose authentically from the heart and soul. So we have all this new, brand new burst of energy and it's like so strong that it feels like it could just launch us into space. And so right now it's like, it's like we're fresh and young and newborn and full of life and full of adventure and full of 
um, vigor and enthusiasm, but it's like we're still trying to figure out like how to be this new self, right? This is this is um, sort of an adolescent version, like we're, we're like freshmen again. Um, you know, like back in school when we would go to high school and become the freshman or you go, you go to college and you become the freshman. Well, we're kind of like the freshman of this new cycle. So we're still kind of getting our footing and learning who we're becoming now and, and who the new us is, right? Um, so take your time with any kind of like Decisions that you need to make that will propel you forward. Um, take your time deciding, you know, how you will proceed or what your sort of strategies and routines are, are becoming and just make sure everything's gelling. Um, I would say too, there's this like, um, this feeling of impulsive energy, but like positive impulsive energy around this. And I feel that it is important to lean into some of that impulsiveness. Um, not in sort of a, like lean into the loving impulses and not like lusty impulses, but the impulse to be, to open up to someone or to be vulnerable or to be sharing or caring, like err on the side of, um, spiritual generosity, but yeah, lean into those, um, those impulses of kindness and goodness, you know, it's, it's easy to justify, you know, certain self-righteous actions and, and reactions and the ego loves to do that. But you know what, sometimes like the pride, like route, it, it's, it's, it sets us up for a fall. And a lot of times we lose out and, and, things that are precious to us, it can cost us those things, you know? So don't let pride get in the way. Just lean into that, um, that sort of like, um, wide eyed, you know, innocent novice kind of like hopefulness and optimism and, you know, give people, you know, the benefit of the doubt and try to see the best in them and try to practice, um, mercy and, Spiritual generosity and understanding and compassion. Okay. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. <clears throat> We're definitely choosing these new, making our decisions and choosing these, uh, this new path based on what lights us up, what makes our hearts feel uplifted and expanded, what gives us a sense of joy and hope and goodness. And as we move forward, we want to be very, um, we want to practice awareness around the state of our consciousness when we're taking these actions. Before we take an action, we want to make sure that we are, um, we, we check ourselves to see, okay, what, how is our vibration? How are we feeling right now? Are we in affinity with the light? Are we being a cause consciousness? Or are we being like, um, affect consciousness being reactive to the situation and going on our default mode to try to like, you know, ease and anesthetize the discomfort, right? So, um, we are making sure that, so like wherever our consciousness is when we take an action, that is going to, it's like the seeds that we plant, the consciousness that we plant the seeds with matters because it will affect the type of growth that comes from the seed. It will, it will change the seed. So if you are, if you say like start a project or take an action or metaphorically plant a seed from a consciousness of hope, excitement, enthusiasm, um, a sense of sharing, a sense of caring, a sense of, you know, doing something in service to the greater good, something that's going to help people or solve a problem, right? If you're going in with a consciousness of love, authenticity, um, you know, uh, abundance, certainty. Certainty is very important. You can do whatever you want in this life, but do it with certainty. Don't be like, um, don't be pussyfooting around. Don't be indecisive because what you need is your alignment, your vibration to be 100%.
and then everything's fine. You want that certainty, that faith. But if you're uncertain or indecisive, it, it's not, it's, it's not gonna, there's gonna be dissonance. It's not gonna be strong enough to hold, right? The vessel won't hold. So you wanna have certainty, faith, um, optimism, and love in, in your consciousness, right? Sharing. If you are planting seeds or taking actions from a consciousness of like, oh, I don't think I finished my thought. So if you, if you take an action from a consciousness of love and sharing or whatever, it doesn't matter if challenges come or upsets happen or things go wrong or, or it looks like things are going wrong because the essence of the situation is made from goodness and, and it's on a foundation of love and light and certainty, then any situation, that, that situation has spirit in it. And so it can be adjusted. It can have, um, the light can move and shift to make sure that the situation is still playing out for the highest good of all. Whereas if you plant seeds in a consciousness of fear, lack, um, doubt, pridefulness, self-righteousness, um, scarcity, selfish greed, um, lust, uh, you know, evil eye, those kind of seeds are going to create a situation that will never be right. It'll always be off. There will always be challenges. Um, it can, the, no good will ever come of it. It will always just be sort of a cursed situation. So our consciousness is one of the most important factors when we are taking action or when we are planting seeds. So before you ever send an email, before you send the text, before you go out and like apply for the job, before you go looking for that, um, that perfect outfit, you know, like looking for a sale, you know, no matter how important or how mundane, what matters is the kind of consciousness that you're in when you set out to do something because it's going to um, flavor the whole essence of the thing, okay? Um, I think that that is all that I wanted to cover. I definitely wanted to cover the, the state of your consciousness when you plant seeds because the state of consciousness um, affects the kind of seed that you're planting and the fruit that will be, that will, that the plant will bear. Um, yeah. Lean into your fiery energy right now and do your best to keep that up and, and do th practices that sustain that energy because the cardinal energy does wear off. It's a great starting energy. It's like that launch the rocket through the stratosphere energy, but it sort of like wants to coast once it gets through that, that resistance, right? That, that first um, level of resistance. So just know that this energy will wear off. So do your best to make the most of it now and take advantage of it and to sort of um, set yourself up for success and get a head start on things. And just be vigilant that when your enthusiasm and your motivation and your focus starts to wane, stick with it, keep grinding it out because this is it's a new world. We are building, um, but it's very exciting and yeah, it's, there's no telling, there's no limit to what we can become and what we can create for ourselves, right? We can create like our little perfect little life that is authentic exactly to us if we want to. The universe is really supporting those new beginnings. Um, oh, also I'm going to talk about this more tomorrow, but I was going to t say that, um, there was something, read it in the description box because I know that I, I wrote it out in a way that explains it better, but we have been given this, these difficulties, um, these challenges, like these shadow aspects of our personality, um, almost like they're assignments, right? But they're, they're given to us as our responsibility as, um, stewards of the garden of Eden, right? We're the keepers of this earth. And so it is up to us to create this heaven on earth. 
Well, in doing that, we have to realize that matter, according to the law of conservation of matter, matter cannot be created or destroyed. So all of the light energy in this world is, is here, but there's dark energy as well and evil and darkness, right? And it can't be destroyed because there would be a vacuum. It would, it would, it would throw off the cosmic balance because there has to always be the same amount of matter and stuff, right? So the only thing that we can do, we can't destroy it, we can't get rid of it. All we can do is transform it and transmute it. And so we are here to be light workers. We are here to create light from darkness. And so when we do that spiritual alchemy, turning sadness into understanding or a deeper love or you know turn our pride into humility when we take our anger and we put it into something that is um that 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 rights a wrong in society that that makes something more beautiful better that 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 um that uh balances injustices you know when we put these dark we take these dark vices and we balance them into virtues. We've done this spiritual alchemy that has forever changed this dark evil energy that would have continued to circle through the cosmos, circulating through the cosmos um, as sins of the generation that we just keep passing down, right? And we keep spreading out and it keeps affecting how many you know, hundreds of people and thousands of people, you know, when the domino effect starts to happen. So one, when we turn those, um, like our, uh, our selfishness into generosity, that is going to have an effect on so many people. And we're not going to pass that down to generation and generation anymore. You know, we stop that pattern and it's forever that darkness has been changed into light. It has been forever transmuted so it's a huge thing that we do and we don't even realize it but by by doing the work of the spiritual alchemy and trans transformation we're not just healing ourselves but we're really bringing um we're really correcting the balance of the cosmos you know and tipping the scales like taking a little bit of that darkness and, and tipping the scales over to the side of light so so be um take yourself you know, take that responsibility seriously um, and just know that use it as motivation and inspiration that you're not just healing yourself. You're actually making a difference in the rest of the world, right? You just don't think about it that way. All right, you guys, I hope you have a good night. Um, once again, so glad I did not shit myself tonight. Yay, big wins. No shitting myself. Um, Page of Wands sprightly energy take advantage of all that and make sure that you are making decisions from the heart showing up um with vulnerability and honesty and authenticity because we want to be uh, mindful about the consciousness um that we are in when we are planting our seeds all right y'all be good but not too good i'll see you tomorrow for our secret sermon ciao